everybody. Lunch with the Cardinals for the 29th of March, 2012. Remember, today is discount day at Hillcrest Thrift Store. If you have a student ID, you can go down to Hillcrest. Get yourself 20% off their uh, items at Hillcrest Thrift Store on Mill Street in Liberty. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that's coming up this weekend and start off with track and field. Track and field goes to Pittsburgh State to uh, participate in the Wendy's Open this weekend, and we'll have more updates on that as we go through the week. Baseball will have a four-game set in St. Louis against Maryville over the weekend. Of course, Cody Downing, a junior from El Paso, Texas this week, was named as the Great Lakes Valley Conference Baseball Player of the Week. The right-handed starting pitcher sat down with us and talked a little bit about the honor. Really I kind of took it the same as I did my other games. I mean as the season's been going my preparation's been uh, getting better. I think the biggest um, adjustment I made was that I uh, I kind of treated this one like it was my last game ever and I, I was thinking to myself how hard would I fight for my team um, if this was my last game. You know how passionate am I about this game and how proud I am to be here and Another thing that was really significant about that game was that I, I'm pretty sure if you check the box score, there were zero errors. So if you have a you know a great defense playing behind you, you have more conviction in your pitches, you have more confidence. And the, my defense actually really lifted me up. And my catcher uh, Willard Gable just caught a phenomenal game. He he called all the right pitches at all the right times. And with those two things really lifting you up, it just makes it a lot easier to be successful. And I think that. Uh, those those two aspects deserve a, a lot of credit um, for my performance. Cody Downing stepped up and just pitched a great ball game for us. I think he was a three hit shutout, and uh, that was obviously the lift that we needed. And hopefully that'll spark us on a little winning streak. Softball will also be in action this weekend. They will play at Quincy on Saturday and at Illinois Springfield on Sunday. Dustin Combs has a look at the weekend for softball. Well, uh, you know, where we're at right now, fourth uh, behind Drury and uh, Quincy and Illinois Springfield, that gives us an opportunity to take care of our own business. You know, two of the top teams are, are on our schedule this weekend. Uh, both have played really well, and, and we know it's going to be uh, a challenge for us. You know, some, Two teams that I, I don't know anything about, um, and, and a lot of the teams that we've played up to this point of, you know, Missouri S&T and um, Drury, I, I did have some, some uh, knowledge on. Uh, Quincy and Springfield, Illinois are two unknowns, and, uh, you know, our girls yesterday with the confidence we gained, I hope that we can uh, go in, in uh, to Illinois and, and come out successful. Again, remember that today's discount day at Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty, 20% off for Jewel students. That's it for lunch with the Cardinals. We'll see you tomorrow with more Jewel athletic information.